What's up, everybody? It's your boy P from Loud Pack Boxing. Hope everybody doing all right. Um, just coming back with another video for y'all, man. Um, now Adrian Broner has called out Nate Diaz. He said he would love to welcome Nate Diaz into boxing. Um, I don't know, man. That could be an interesting fight. Uh, it's crazy because Adrian Broner actually talk about, talked about fighting Nate Diaz on the undercard of McGregor versus Floyd. Just joking around with it, but, you know, as of recent, Nate Diaz has fought his last uh, fight in his UFC contract, and he kind of free right now. Um, he been talking about starting his own fight promotion specializing in boxing, MMA, and jiu-jitsu. So, um, Nate Diaz is available. Adrian Broner had a fight he had to pull out due to mental health issues a couple months ago. So, um, I don't know, man. This could be a, t a, a good time for both of them to possibly make something like this happen, to be honest. Um, Nate Diaz is on the second half of his career or the end of his career. Adrian Broner is coming to the end of his career. Um, like I said, it might just be a good time for something like this to happen since the crossover fight thing is kind of buzzing right now. Honestly, man, <clears throat> I think the fight to make is Adrian Broner versus Jake Paul just from the promotional standpoint, you know, but I know... Uh, Jake Paul is a lot bigger than Adrian Broner. Even with this fight, I'm curious to what weight they could possibly fight at. I don't know if Nate Diaz could come down a, a 154, and I don't know how big Adrian Broner could get. So, you know, the fight might not even be possible, but I do think it's interesting, you know what I'm saying? Um, Nate Diaz, def definitely him and his brother Nick, have a boxing pedigree they've been working for years with Andre Ward some of the best um boxers in the game trainers so they do have a boxing pedigree and have been um talking about crossing over the boxing for years so it's like Anderson Silva wound up doing so you know it's not far-fetched that something like this could happen but um Nate Diaz and Adrian Brona you know, even that fight from a from a promotional standpoint will be it'll be a lot of shit talking. You know what I mean? I think the fight would probably sell pretty good. So <clears throat> I don't know, but as far as how that fight will play out, I don't know, man. Adrian Brona, he's not what he used to be, but he's still probably a lot faster than Nate Diaz and a lot more mobile. But um, Nate Diaz is tall. He has that reach and he's rangy. You know, so as far as the fight playing out, I don't know. But if you ask me, Adrian Broner, uh, he has more to lose in this fight than Nate Diaz. You know, it's kind of like a win-win for Nate. You know, he, he he's uh, fresh out of his UFC contract. He's crossing over, fighting a, a bigger name like... Adrian Broner, if he was going there and beat Adrian Broner, that would look really good for Nate Diaz. But on the flip side, if uh, Adrian Broner went in there and lost, you know, he already on a four, I think a four fight losing streak, and then to come over and lose to a, a MMA guy, it would just probably be the nail in his coffin. So, you know, it's definitely, in my opinion, a riskier fight for Adrian Broner, but nonetheless, I still think it would be entertaining to build up to the fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, the trash talk between these two. You know, you got the Stockton boys over there, and then you got Adrian Broner and his, I guess, his Cincinnati crew. Um, like I said, it would make for good promotion for the fight. Um, <clears throat> Nate Diaz hasn't responded yet to Adrian Broner's call out. So 
So we'll see how that plays out. But as of right now, you know, Adrian Broner said he would love him. The love he would love to introduce uh, Nate into the boxing world. He said he would give him all he can handle. So I mean, that's what's up. I like that. I'm down for that. So we'll see what happens. How, how all this stuff plays out. Um, on another note. You know, we was holding our breath. We was keeping our fingers crossed. The world was kind of on standstill for the um, Spence versus Crawford, November the 19th. Um, I guess it's safe to say that's not happening. I mean, just from a standpoint of it's not long enough to promote a fight that big. You know, November is, what, two months away? November 19th, a little over two months away. And, um... A fight this big, a fight of this magnitude, they would want to promote it. They would want to do, you know, a big press tour. I'm sure in Texas, I'm sure probably in Terrence's hometown, Vegas, you know, all the major cities, they would, they would want to promote this and, and, and get every dime out of this fight, you know, because it's worth it. So I guess it's safe to say that November 19 is scratched. You know, it's not enough time to promote a fight this big, unfortunately. So once again... We're being misled <laughs> about this fight that we all want to see, which is very frustrating and annoying. Um, every day is something new. Why the fight is not happening? Who's holding the fight up? Every day is something new with this shit. So, um, on that note, we'll see what we'll see what happens with with that fight as well. See how that plays out. But as of right now, I think it's safe to say November nineteenth, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> So, <clears throat> but anyway, man, let me know what y'all get. Hop in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Brona calling out Nate Diaz. Um, y'all like the fight? Y'all sick of the crossover fights? Um, let me know how y'all feel about that, and let me know who, how y'all think the fight will play out. Who y'all think? Who, who, who would y'all pick in that fight if it did play out? Um, like I said, I don't really know. You know, I guess. As far, I don't know, man. I had to see when when they get closer to to be honest to see where Adrian Broner head is at. You know, he. I don't know how serious he would take this fight. He might feel like Nate. He really don't have to go 100 percent for. It. And I don't know. That could be a mistake. I don't know. So like, I I I, I really had to see more to say how this fight will play out. But um, anyway, make sure y'all check out. Check me out on IG at Loud Pack Boxing. You know, y'all check me out on IG at The Jab Effect. Me and my partner Combo Breaker 99 over there for more boxing talk. Um, y'all can catch me on Facebook at The Jab Effect as well. And um, that's, all really, I re- that's all I really got, man. I'm on this road to 500 subscribers. So I appreciate everybody. Um, adding on and I appreciate my day ones rocking out with me trying to hang in there with me while I get this thing <laughs> up and running so I definitely appreciate that but um, that's all I really got man like I said it's your boy P um, y'all be good stay out the way be safe and I'm out <laughs>